Hello, quick introduction to the video. My name is Cameron. I am a graduate apprentice software engineer currently studying at Glasgow University and I'm using this video as a way to sort of rubber ducky debug a leak code problem, just attempt to solve it, talk through my thought process and hopefully it's useful to someone watching this. So the problem to be attempted today is number 500. Keyword rule. Given an array of strings, words, return the words that can be typed using letters of the alphabet on only one row of the American keyboard, like the image below. Uh, the first row consists of this, query to UIOP, second row consists of ASDF, GH, HI, JKL, third row consists of ZXC, VBR, VBNM. So, hello Alaska, dad and peace. Um, we cannot uh, type hello or peace because it uses PE from this row and then A from this row and then C from this row whereas the others use one row. So just gonna go over to my notes. So if we take a word or take words we need to iterate through each word so what's the first thing we need to do? Iterate through words. Um, iterate to letters of word. If letter is not in a group, set it to false. Um, okay. If looped through all word and I've looked through all letters and all are false. Um, remove item from words. Yeah, and then we'll have variables like row one, row two, row three. Yep, and then we're going to put these um, things into it, like, don't know if I am, I'm copying and pasting this, I've got a keyword here. And then same thing here. So, I uh, remove item from words, and then we can just or we can just say we'll, we'll add it to a new list if and any row is true add to output add to output. Cool. Um, actually, we'll need like row one, and then, and then we also need like. Okay. Uh, this this is fine. Let's let's just try try it now. <clears throat> We're actually gonna have row one. Um, I all these rows as billions, and they'll represent this down here. This false. Um, so we'll have iterate through words so far. Word and words. Then for, uh, well, no, for words in range, length of words, for letter in range, length of word, um, in fact, we don't need to do, we don't need this range for word and words. 
and for letter n word. Um, what we need to do is if letter n this row one is equal to false of letter n a s d f g h j k l row two is equal to false or or sorry not n Um, and then lastly, with letter not in this, then we set it to false. And next, what we're doing, if we look through all the letters in any of true, so we need to do this. Uh, if row 1 or row 2. Or row three. Um, word or do put put dot append word. Did not mean to submit that. Don't know how that happened. I think I accidentally did control enter. Let's hit run. We need actually we didn't put is equal to an empty list. Um Um Word and Word. Oh right, so this should be out one. Hmm. Let's print letter. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. we need to do um word and words. Uh, word is equal to word dot lore. Didn't put it into lowercase. Hmm. Um If letter not in this, so if it's not in there, is it, that's row one's equal to false. What if we print row one, row two, row three? Hit run. So we've got H E L L oh, H E L L O Okay, that's right. So that's H E L L O this is A L A S K A. So if row one is equal to true, or row two equals true, or or oh, or row three is equal to true. So 
we should have mm -hmm. so it should be these middle two yep which is true hmm So we should have two of these. Yeah. Um Oh that's because we Every time we loop through here we set words to empty, an empty list. This should work. There we go, hit submit. And hope for the best. Accepted. So thank you very much for watching, hope this was useful to you in some way, shape or form. If it was, please leave a comment, uh, let me know um, if you have some other solution that was a bit more different or efficient. I love discussing these problems and their solutions. So yeah, thank you once again for watching the video and I hope you have a great day.